All right, so you're telling me you want to go from junior to mid-level designer because you want to make a little bit more cha-ching, a little bit of money. Let me tell you this, by the end of this video, you will truly understand how to move from A to B, from junior to mid-level to make a little bit more cha-ching. Let's get into it, guys. All right, so on the left-hand side, I've gone ahead and broken down some of those key skill sets that you will need to have landed a junior UI and UX designer role. So in the UI design category, we have UI design itself and also design systems. Then we have UX, which encompasses strategic thinking, user research, user testing, communication skills, stakeholder management. And then in the brownie points section, the additional section, we have leadership, business acumen, and product management. All designers have some sort of level of understanding in all these skill sets. It just might be that they might be a little bit lower or they might be a little bit higher. So on the right hand side, I've gone ahead and implemented a few scales that define junior, mid and senior. Now, when people are explaining all these different skill sets and what a junior might be or what a mid might be or what a senior might be, the key thing that I've realized that they forget is to actually define what that actually means because you might interpret what a mid-level designer differently to what I believe it is. So I've gone ahead and defined what a mid-level skill set actually means. Ability to confidently communicate ideas and complete tasks with the support and guidance of a senior or lead designer. So for example, if you are a mid-level UI designer, you should be very confident in all UI design skill sets. You should be confident in designing for mobile, tablet, and desktop, but you might just lean on a senior UX designer just to patch up a little a few mistakes, or you might realize you're a little bit weaker in the UX design skill sets and you need to lean on them for a little bit more guidance. So ultimately, if you're a mid-level UI designer, you should be very confident in those skills and you should only rely on a senior to really support yourself in other areas of weaknesses. Now, there are two scenarios where a UX and UI designer might enter the industry as a junior. So the first one is the UX designer. So generally, they also might come from a marketing background. They're empathetic. They love dealing and talking to customers. They love user research. They like to be very strategic about what they talk about, how they turn those insights into product design decisions. Those are the ones who have shown a company that they have that potential in the UX field. Now, on the other hand, there's also those designers who enter the field with a very strong visual and UI design foundation. So they're really passionate about designing crispy and polished UI designs. Their passion and their interest has also led them into playing around and building their own design systems and learning online. But they realize they do lack a little bit of the UX design skill sets. So neither one is better than the other. So generally from what I've noticed from interviewing and also employing a lot of designers in my career and for my own businesses, these are the two types of personas that I've actually dealt with. So moving forward, I'm gonna explain how a strong UI designer can become a mid-level UI and UX designer and a strong UX designer, how they can also become a mid-level UI and UX designer. So starting with the UI designer who's come in as a junior, you can see at the top, we have a little bit more of experience and exposure in UI design and design systems, but obviously the UX side and also the brownie points and additional skill sets, they're a little bit less and they're a little bit untouched just because of their passion and their current exposure and experience. They've just dealt with a lot more UI design work and design system work, but this isn't too bad. So if we want to move from a junior into a mid-level UI UX designer, this is what we need to do. As you can see, UI design and design systems, those skill sets need to be confident. They need to be mid-level confident. And remember what that means. It means that you are confident enough to complete all the tasks and you should only rely on a senior or a lead designer to help support any small mistakes. But in the UX field and in the brownie points field, you can lean on the senior UX designer because obviously you spent a lot of time in the UI design space and the design system space. You haven't had enough exposure or experience in the UX field. However, if you notice, all the UX skill sets do bypass that half line from junior to mid. You can't stay stuck at the beginning where you don't feel confident at all. You definitely have to have confidence in being able to complete all these tasks but you might lean on the senior designer to support you in the UX field a lot more. So what that means is 
you might be able to support these activities, might be able to join in on workshops, might be able to listen in on workshops, or you might be able to ask a few questions in the user interview, but you might not be able to lead that entire operation or that entire activity. However, you can do that in the UI design and the design system stage because you have a lot more experience and a lot more exposure in that. You are able to lead those initiatives. So that is the UI designer who has come into the field as a junior. So what about the UX designer who entered the field as a junior? How did they scale into becoming a mid-level UI and UX designer? So as a strong UX designer who entered the field as a junior, you can see that in the UI space, you might lack a little bit more experience because a lot of your focus, whether it's from a bootcamp or a future course of mine that I'm releasing about product and UX design, a lot of your time has been focused on the UX side, talking to customers, running interviews, synthesizing research. So you can see that in the UX side, you have a little bit more exposure and a little bit more experience. But how do we navigate ourselves into that mid level? How do we know that we're ready? So you can see in this transition, the UI design and design systems might not get to the point of that strong confidence where you can lead and just really complete all the work on your own. You might need to ask a few more questions. You might need a senior designer to show you how to build or scale out that design system, but you have enough confidence to complete most of your tasks. However, in the UX side of things, you should be able to be able to navigate yourself complete all those tasks, even run some of those initiatives and actually lead them yourself. So for example, user interview, because this is your domain, this is your unique selling proposition, this is where you stand, this is what you're passionate about, you should be able to run an interview on your own, be able to synthesize a lot of the data yourself and be able to manage it with stakeholders, mainly because you spent so much more time in this field. And then in the brownie points in an additional section, you might have built up a little bit more leadership skills, business acumen and product management understanding because you've been working with more product managers at the workplace. So as you can see, there are two different routes that you can take and no one is perfect and this is really used as a guideline. So in summary, what does that actually mean for a strong UI designer who's junior and we're looking to move into a mid-level role? You should be able to confidently design polished UI across all devices and have the ability to build and maintain and scale a design system. You should also be able to support and drive UX initiatives with the guidance of a senior or lead designer. So you might notice I didn't say lead the UX initiatives. It's more about support and drive because this is where that weakness is, but you are still a mid-level designer. You just need a little bit more help. And then also the ability to clearly communicate ideas and concepts and designs to stakeholders. This is definitely something that you wanna focus on if you are a junior. You wanna be able to, whatever your key focus is, whatever your passion is, whatever your strengths are, you need to be able to communicate that. That is where you see a transition from junior to mid. And when a mid goes into a senior, they should be able to clearly communicate all their ideas, all their designs, justify them, justify the rationale, be able to manage stakeholders and really navigate that journey. So what does it look like for someone who's strong in the UX side of things? We can see that the non-negotiables for them would be they can design polished UI across all devices and ability to maintain and scale a design system. So there is a slight nuance between that and the de UI designer. They can confidently drive UX initiatives. So not just support, they can actually confidently drive these initiatives because this is their unique selling prop proposition. And they also can ability to clearly communicate ideas and concepts and designs to stakeholders. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between a strong UI designer moving into a mid-level UI UX role and a UX designer moving into a mid-level UI and UX designer role. Now, some of those brownie points or additional skill sets that will really help you expedite your process to navigate from junior, mid, and senior is one, strong project management skills. You need to be able to understand with your work, what is your impact on the overarching project? How does your work impact other departments, other teams, other stakeholders? Just having that overarching and holistic view about a project will definitely show that you're a little bit more professional, a little bit more experienced, and you have a little bit more business acumen understanding. Then you want to have the ability to link and communicate designs with business use cases. 
So once again, this leads back to business acumen and also product management skills. And last but not least, this one is really, really important. You wanna make sure that you show proactive communication and leadership skills in helping support the project progress and also with team efficiency. So a lot of designers that I've hired myself for my own businesses or that I have worked with or hired for another company, the ones that really do stand out are the ones who are really proactive. They really come out and they really speak their mind and they're really proactive with taking action and also clearing uncertainties and actually asking questions to gain more clarity. So a lot of junior designers and mid-level designers, they end up trying to internalize a lot of thoughts and ideas, but in reality, the most effective way to work is to be able to communicate more openly. So hopefully this video gave you a little bit more of an idea of how you can navigate from junior to mid, get a bit more cha-ching, a bit more money, and get that pay rise eventually. And if you do have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below because I would love to hear that you got a pay rise and you moved from junior to mid-level based on the information that you've learned in this video. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in another video very soon.